already 15 years ago. 15 freaking years, I'm way too old. 15 years ago, we were at this spot in this area. We're in Douglaston, New York right now. And there's a cool bank, fence, sewer cap, stall, spot. We used to ride all the time. And the problem is, is that I'm old as hell now. So for me to remember spots that I rode 15 years ago, because we've ridden so many spots, I've been riding nonstop for, I don't even know how many years anymore. People ask me all the time. And we've been to so many street spots where it's so freaking hard to remember every single one of them. And right now we're on the hunt to try to find this one spot. And I know like it's in the back of one of these building things or whatever, but today's focus, today's video is this one spot to ride the spot once again, being older, being more experienced. And uh, it's just, I haven't been here in so long. So let's try to find it. Also in the end of this video, I remember in a previous video, people were telling me to change my fork to a certain color and based on the comments we're going to be changing today's fork from the sob v3 into the new declare fork at a certain color based on the comments from a previous video so that will be doing at the end of the video because i didn't get the chance to do it yet so i'll be doing that after the session at the end but first we're going to ride so all i know is in the back of one of these things there's not too many and i hope the spot is still here but in the back of one of these areas there's a huge bank sick bank so we'll just go one by one and try to find it is it bad that i already want to phone a friend that someone who might know what this is and someone as old as me or close to my age or someone that's just been riding for way too long to help me find the spot Yo, dude. What up? I need your help. Do you remember where that bank in Douglaston is? The bank with a sewer cap? Yes. Yeah, I remember it. I just don't remember where it is. Ah, <laughs> uh, I found it. <laughs> I didn't even think it was this one. I've checked every single one. Jonah doesn't even remember either. And I was just, let me just drive into this one because it's the only one that's open. And I found it. And I parked over here because I didn't want to be in the way. But it's right there. And we're about to ride it. And I'll show you guys. I'm making a big deal too, but you got to see it. You gotta know. And the best part is, a while back when the spot we first rode it, you had to jump up the bank to use the bank. Now, they put this, all this new pavement, this new blacktop. You can just roll up this bank. Look how cool this is. It's not like a crazy, crazy spot. This thing is definitely one of the coolest, most different things. And <laughs> there's old Proto stickers on this from back in the day. Look at this. This is from Proto, and that would mean when I was on Proto, it was like 2008, 2009. So 12 years later, we're back at this spot. And it's pretty cool because there's a lot more you can do than just the bank. I've never done this thing, but there's this cool rail hop. I know somebody did, I forget who. You can rail hop in, you can stall the fence. I just don't know if the fence is sturdy anymore. We used to ride pegs and do a lot of stalls on this. And this was so much fun. Just doing 180 tricks back in the day was like the biggest deal for us, but sewer cap, bank, brand new pavement, and we found it. The sun is in the worst spot because then you have so much sun and shade. So the camera's probably freaking out. Back in the day, 12. 13, I don't even know how many years ago, those tricks that I just did, and all of them were first try, those tricks would have been like a, a banger. Like I would have been so hyped back in the day because of the level of riding I was at. It's like, I just started, I just started riding. So doing bar to tire tap and stuff like that was like crazy back in the day. But now, I mean, that is the warm up. So it's cool to see the progression. For me, it's kind of like a refreshment to see how far and how long it's been. And I believe even for you guys, you guys should do it too. You guys should go to places or go do tricks again that you haven't done in so long that were hard for you and see how good you've gotten sometimes it's you get frustrated trying new tricks every day new tricks and then if you go just try to do the trick that took you so long or somewhere that was so hard for you to ride and just go back and see how easy it is for you to do it now and that helps you re-realize how far you've come so that's something i always like to do and i'm sure 
you guys like these videos too because I've made videos like this before and everybody loves it because it's very relevant to you guys. You can feel it too. You can feel that it's something that we all notice if you go back to something. Oh wow, I could do it so easy now. But cool spot. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna mess with the sewer cap now. This would be sick. And this that we ever would never try back in the day. If you can nose jam in there, it should not be hard because it's only like two inches off the ground. <laughs> Woo, look at my foot, I barely made it. On a bank, a double heel is like freaking nothing. On this thing, there's so many different spots of where you can pop. So every time I go to do a pop, I go to do a double heel, 180, just wants to jump different. So just having a street spot makes an easy trick hard. If we can do this, it makes you feel better. Get this double heel. I'm gonna call this try, keep recording, double bar spin, set up, little run, no hands, and we're gonna do it right now. Ah, I lied to you, I'm sorry. There it is. Easy tricks are hard, which means there's some tricks that I want to do that I know I can do on quarter pipes and stuff and regular banks and regular quarters that I want to do here. I definitely want to see if I can bar to stall, leg sweep bar while on a tire tap. So bar, stall, tire tap, leg sweep bar, still on the back wheel, double whip in. That's a cool combo that I can do, not every trying to quarter, but way easier than this. And then I definitely want to 180 finger up this because one, not really that hard of a trick. Quarter pipe is so easy, but you guys know my ankle has been busted for a while and I've actually been feeling really good the last two weeks. And I've done like two finger ups flat, which means this would be a good, kind of like a training, like strength training to get some fast, low finger ups back because this bank is sketch and it kind of feels like flat. Ah. Quick intermission as I can breathe a little bit. For those who have placed orders on the Ride and website, anybody who doesn't know, to support the merch like my line company right now i'm wearing the white shirt from the first line i just released navy blue shirts also lavender hoodies i know it's hot which is why i don't wear the lavender hoodie yet but it's good to get because i'm not making that color ever again so if you want something for the fall or depending on where you live ship international grab yourself one of the hoodies you can click the card on top or wait for the end screen or link in the description face mask scooter chains are in stock we have a few left we have a few face masks left. I think I have like under five. But plenty of stuff, plenty of shirts, plenty of hoodies. And uh, yeah, they're really comfortable. That's like the best part. They're like long, fitted, super comfortable, and absorb all the sweat when you're and dying on the banks. <laughs> Woo! Now, damn finger whip. And I don't think it would have been hard a couple months ago. Just my ankle. It doesn't hurt now, but the power I have way less power than I did before with my left foot so a lot of these tricks that require power i'm like doing it extra on my right foot just to help with my left really good training right now if i get this 180 finger up i'm gonna try to do it first try keep the camera rolling and we'll just see how it works usually when i keep the camera rolling it's like forces me to just try harder we'll see <laughs> that was so what was that Damn it. Little bit of a catch action. That one felt crazy good. I'm gonna film some stuff for Insta Story, so if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you are, because a lot of the stuff I post on Story, I post it like right away. Like this video that you're watching right now, you're watching it today, Wednesday, but technically me today is Monday. I filmed it two days before. So if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, you guys can see like a little head start of where I'm riding. Just like a real time adventure. But enough of this bank. I'm gonna do my Insta story stees. Now I gotta change my fork to the color you guys chose. So currently I'm riding the SOB V3 fork. I've been riding this fork forever. I've never changed my parts. I leave them on until a new part comes out. I never break parts, I never change them. I just am lazy. Plus they work fine all the way up. And either way, we're changing the fork today we're trying to do this quick because the video has been long enough and today we're changing it to the silver the polished declare fork based on the comments in the previous video we're asking you guys for you to pick the color of fork that i'm going to ride and most of the comments 
were on the polish fork. So we're gonna open this one up, throw this on. I'm actually super excited to use this run right now because one, it's just a whole new, look how nice this looks. This fork is so sick. Plus, it's gonna go very well with the titanium union bars. It's not the same silver. Put the oil slick fork on to give it like a pop, nice color. But the silver is gonna kind of give it like that one complete aesthetic. So let's throw this one on. Comes with the spaces depending on which size of wheel you're riding. Right now I'm riding my SIG wheels. So let's throw this on. Tell me that doesn't look so freaking clean. Having the tie bars go down straight to the new Declare fork. And the coolest part is that it comes with the spacers, even for my size wheel. So it gives it clearance from the fork. So the main focus for these forks is to be able to ride those really wide wheels, the tri-bearing wheels and anything like that. So appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for picking silver. I'm really hyped on how silver looks. There's a silver headset cap on there, just like that, just to give it like a real clean look. Makes the deck pop out a little more. You can see the colors of the deck shine through. Declare fork, Envy, killed it. Hyped to ride this fork. Hyped to finally change my parts. That's the, that's the main thing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, making videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Hope you enjoyed this one specifically, and I hope to see you at the next one.